back down at the workbench here and we are going to cover making paper cartridges. These are the paper cartridges here. There's 21 grains of powder. There's a uh, wool wad, um, lubed wad. It's pretty dry actually. And then there is a 454 ball on top of it. This is what they look like when they're rolled. Let me get that better. But when they're rolled before they're trimmed, it's a little bright. Um, and I bought cases. Um, they only mount in so far these cases right here. And I don't know if you can see it. This is the MTM case guard. It's the P50-44. I bought the uh, P50s. Dash 45s, and I don't have one right here. Here's uh, one that was a hundred, and you can see the difference in them. The 44 here is made to hold 45 Colt. This is here made to hold 45, same caliber, but it's ACP, so they're not tall enough. Let me grab a paper cartridge. So, so you can see the paper cartridges won't fit in here. They're too big, the little tags are hitting, and you literally gotta crush them to try to close the lid. So, again, these uh, are the MTD P5044 cases. Um, I got these for $3 on Amazon. Um, the green ones were $3. They wanted seven, $8 for the red ones, so I wanted to get two different colors, but uh, I can put stickers on them for that, so. Anyway, I'm going to cover covering these and making these in just a second. All right, so we're back, and uh, here's the supplies. These are True Wave end papers. They use these for perms. Uh, when uh, girls go to the hair salon, these papers are used on the rollers or whatever when they do the curling. These aren't nitrate papers. They're pretty cheap, and this is, I think, $350. For a thousand sheets I went to uh, you can buy them off Amazon I'll put a link in here but you can probably get them cheaper if you go to your local beauty supply I went to Sally's beauty supply in Hagerstown and I got these for 350 <coughs> um, and you need a glue stick this is gonna glue the papers and of course these are the guns that I use this is the 1858s eight and a half inch barrels this is the brass model this one's going to get a converter so um we'll move on with that Let's sit that out of the way a pair of tweezers eight inch tweezers i use a little amazon link for these um and this here is a half inch down it uh it's about six and a half inches long but here's the important part I got this off of uh, Dave, David Birkin on YouTube. Two inches of this dowel is tapered. And the bottom here is tapered to about 7 sixteenths, maybe a little more, 11 30 seconds. And I don't know if you can see the taper slightly. If I put it across this dowel, you can see where it, it comes up off of the, the ruler. And that makes this taper, this bottom end is big enough to go into it. Now, the only, th the only thing I found so far, I used 21 grains with my uh, spout here. And I'm using American Pioneer powder uh, is right now. And because local shops around here carry it, they've kind of made really hard. Most places have to get special licensing to carry real black powder but with this taper at two inches and uh, I'll show you here later in a second that um, it's hard to get the wad and the ball right down to the 21 grains of powder I think maybe 30 grains of powder I haven't been shooting 30 grains because 20 grains works for a while I got another spout I have to pour some and try it but um, I think maybe this taper may be set up for something closer to 30 grains um, maybe a little bit shorter and quicker of a taper may work better because you need the same size 
but the ball doesn't seem to be getting to the powder and I literally got to shove it down on top of the powder. Um, so we'll get to that. And um, extra chapstick. I got these, uh, you know, we got a 23 year old daughter. You could have a high school daughter or whatever and they apparently can't live without this stuff and they get flavors that they don't like or that are, uh, as my daughter says, a gross. So I get these for free. And uh, these are 44 caliber wads. I cut out myself. They're 7 16 And uh, they're dipped into a mixture half 50% deer fat, rendered deer fat, and 50% beeswax. And all I do with that there, maybe I'll make another video of that, is uh, I'll just grab this with a pair of tweezers. And I dip, dip, swipe real quick into the hot deer wax, drop it into an aluminum foil dish or pan or whatever, and then cook them in the oven at 200 degrees for, I don't know, 15 minutes. And it just distributes the stuff all through it. And let's just make sure these aren't going to burn and uh, they're going to melt a little bit and lube the barrel on the way out. So I'll get to making this in just a second. Okay, now I'm going to go through making one of these. The guy, you take this paper here and you kind of roll it. You want to leave yourself maybe an inch, three quarters of an inch. Um, the guy David originally did this. He kind of put this, put glue on it and started rolling it. And I kind of found it to be kind of hard. Uh, the glue got all over everything, but the wrong one. I take it and... Put a little glue on it as I roll it. Roll it up on itself, take the little tag end, rub some glue on it, finish rolling it, grow it down, and then you have the little top piece here. You flatten it, take a glue stick, put a nice little dab of glue on it, fold it over, mush it down nice and tight. And then you slide your tube off. And there's the tube that you're going to put powder in. So, and then I normally let these dry, so hopefully this isn't going to cause a problem. I'm going to oops, get my spout, that didn't work. My spout is full. 21 grains. Now, I'm going to take a wad, and the original guy, David, makes his sticky, and he uses a vegetable wad. I don't use the sticky wad. I'm going to take and put a little chapstick, chunk of chapstick on it, and then stick the ball to it. Grab the ball and the wad up, slide them in. Down they go. Now you can see here uh, the ball is in there, and then I just give it a little bit of a squeeze. Twist it, and there it's made. There it is. I put it in my hand. There it is, made. Powder packed tightly with a wad and a ball. It goes into the container into the container and ready to go. So there's one more to be added to our box over here. Then eventually we'll fill all these up and then we can go shooting. So um, I hope that helps. I'll have to review this video, make sure I don't have to recover anything. But uh, I hope it helps you. It seems to work out pretty good. It makes loading the um, 1858s a lot easier. Peace people. Okay, so I came back down here and uh, after reviewing my video and found that um, my big bright white LED lights kind of whiten out some things in the video. So um, this is, you can watch David's video on YouTube if you want, but what he did was kind of did the dab of glue here and rolled it up. And uh, I'll try it again his way, but... 
I wound up getting messed up with that sometimes. Actually, it kind of worked there. And then you get to this spot here. Hold it. Run glue down the edge. Finished rolling. And you got a tube. And then, let me make sure I'm still on the camera. It's hard using this camera backwards. I can't see what I'm doing. And then glue on this tube. I noticed this whole section of the video before was kind of whited out. And press it down, get this good and square so it fits in good and tight on it, fits into the, so it fits into the barrel. That little tab it didn't stick down. That'll get crushed up when we do it. And boom. There's the tube. All ready to go. I so think you can see it a little better like this. So and there's our tube. It's gonna sit and dry and make some more.